Welcome back. Um, as usual, I get sidetracked by other projects that I want to do. And in a few weeks, I'm planning on taking a small road trip to Norway. And I wanted to have some, um, some side bags to my bike. Um, I have these, I will show you over here. Uh, the soft shad side saddle bags. Um, I don't really like them. Um, they don't fit that well because I do not have the, the right mounts for them. And I can't lock them. And for me, that is a, that's a minus. So I decided to, to make my own saddlebags. Um, if you would buy like the real adventure saddlebags that you can put here on the side, they cost like three or four thousand Swedish crowns per bag and I don't have that kind of money. So I decided to buy the biggest ammunition cans that I can find and try to make my own uh, saddlebags and mounts. So I wanted to uh, bring you along on the process of building them and uh, show you how I, how I made them. So we will start uh, looking at the bike to see what I have to do and then we will take a look at the ammo cans and try to figure out a plan to actually make them. Okay. So, I have already removed one of the uh, foot pegs on this side and it is pretty much square, which is perfect. And the actual, the actual foot rest had this little thing pointed out, so I was afraid that uh, there would be some kind of... Um, groove or bump or something that would make the, the shape a little awkward to work with but fortunately it looks pretty good so my plan is to take like square tubing or something and make uh, make them go up a little bit and then make a plateau um, weld that bracket to the plateau um, and then I'm not sure if I will weld this bottom piece to the ammo can or if I will just put bolts through and then we will see if I can maybe find, I think there is possibly some mounting points under here for other saddlebags so I might be able to drill some holes there and make a, a mount to the side of the ammo can as well so it will have good resting position there and also some support from the side. I have to change battery soon as well. Here it is black like the bike. Um, I might put some um, some decals, decals um, stickers or whatever on here later um, but yeah this is what it looks like uh, it has the like a little carriage bracket on the front as well and here is where you can put a lock so I think the idea is that you drill a hole through here and then you can, when you close it, you can make it stick out here and you hang a lock on top of there. I think at least that is the idea. Uh, but yeah, this looks pretty good. Um, we will have to find a way to, to mount this. Is there any other way they have? So yeah, I think the idea is that you put a, 
a lock through here. So I will have to figure that out as well. But for now, let's start thinking about the actual mounts on the bike. Right now I'm thinking about using something like this. It will be too close to the sides of the bike if I will put it on top of the footrest. So I will probably have to make it stick out a bit sideways and then mount it something like that. Um, that way the ammo can will come out a bit from the body so it won't scrape to the sides here. Um, I will have to take some square tubing, cut out um, the, the edge that I don't need and then weld this uh, both along the side here and along these sides to make as much support as possible. Um, so I think I will have to take a trip into the city and see if I can find some square tubing or um, metal profile or whatever it's called that fits in here. So I will take some measurements and yeah, head into town. And as usual um, we will cut straight from here and into the city. So, here we go. Okay, so we are back. It's a little bit chilly outside today. Um, what could it be? Maybe like 15 degrees or something. See here. 18 degrees today so not a lot of people outside it's a little bit windy as well but there is a few a few brave souls outside today Getting closer to to Eula right now, <sighs> and as I've mentioned before, I think I have at least. Um, I cannot open my visor because of the GoPro, so I would have to take my helmet off when I'm in there. So I can't really really film anything. I think I might like. Hold it under my arm or something, I can try that, but I don't think I can actually wear it inside. Then they'll think I will rob the place or something, I prob probably. actually managed to find um, the things I was looking for so um, I will probably get pretty pretty far today with the, with the bags and the mounts um, the only thing I'm not sure about yet is the the side mounts I haven't removed the plastic yet to to see what it looks like but anywho let's get back home and start working on this kind of excited now okay so i did find what I was looking for. This is 20 by 20 millimeters, so it's one millimeter smaller 
than what is needed on the bike. But I think I will manage. Uh, I can probably put a washer or something in between. And <coughs> I'm not sure, but if I'm lucky, the mount on the bike is ex uh, exactly 45 degrees. Um, and if that's the case, I uh, will be able to cut in the middle right there and cut in the middle right there uh, and that way the pipe will go like that and I will be able to put this in the middle that way the edge on the back side here uh, will touch the flat part so I can drill out the hole and um, weld that spot as well and weld the whole back side of this to, to the edge of, uh, of this pipe. I think I will have to have the openings in the front because if I put it backwards um, this hatch here will hit the indicator that's right there. So. Uh, I will probably have to have this facing forward and then the bracket down here and weld along all these edges here underneath as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you this, so I'll do it now. But underneath here, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's a little dark. But right here, there is squares, two of them. One there and one there. So what I'm suspecting is that when you buy the actual mounts that goes with those, um, I think you are actually supposed to cut out these squares and inside here there will be two mounting points for those brackets. That is what I am suspecting. That way this will have all the support that they can need because I won't have um, too heavy stuff in them anyway. So the first part of this project is done, this fits very well in there. So the next step is to weld this on here. 